name is Max. I will be presenting MEMS Energy Harvesting in collaboration with Johan and Sal, directed by Sang Jun Lee, along with his assistant Yin Lam. I will give a summary of energy harvesting and then move on to piezoelectric and thermal energy harvesting examples. I will conclude with current research and future trends. The energy harvesting process converts energy from external sources and converts it into another form of energy. These sources of energy are accumulated from the surroundings, such as solar energy. They can originate from radio or television electromagnetic radiation, or even be derived from thermal and mechanical energy produced from an engine. Energy harvesters are typically exposed long-term to their external sources, thus are built to withstand their environments. The energy harvested fall in a micron range and vary, of course, depending on the source. They can also be batch processed, thus become cost efficient. Piezoelectric refers to the property behavior of certain crystals that can produce an electric field under an external force, as shown in the figure. The piezoelectric effect applies to crystals that lack a center of symmetry. Below are a few common piezoelectric materials. However, some materials may require treatment to exhibit piezoelectric behavior. This following example uses excitations produced from a vehicle through vibrations caused by road roughness and sway due to acceleration. The frame provides a guide rail for the roller where a proof mass snaps onto the roller by a magnet. As the roller travels back, the beam is released and causes vibrations. The vibrations can then be converted into energy. This following device operates on vibrations that are generated from the heart. A piezoelectric thin cantilever harvester operates when forces cause it to move out of plane, resulting in an excitation of energy. As shown in the figure, the pacemaker is located in the right ventricle. With the following technology, pacemakers can extend our lifespan to an additional 20 to 40 years. Moving on to thermal energy harvesting. Thermal energy harvesting can be achieved using both thermoelectric and pyroelectric effects. On the left, we have a high efficiency, high energy converter based on a temperature cycled cantilever. On the right, we have a microscale thermoelectric generator consisting of P-doped and N-doped thermocouple junctions. Low thermal conductivity materials are insulated at the cold junction area to disperse heat to ambient air and attempt to enlarge the temperature difference between a hot and cold junction. In addition, the TEG is designed with trenches in between each thermocouple, which increase heat loss through air conduction and convection. Moving on to current research and future trends. Harvesting from radio frequency signals and vascular systems have been recently explored within the research community. Devices involving energy harvesting and the radio frequency signals have received an increased amount of attention. By being a convenient energy self-sufficient device, it can power low energy consumption electronics. Research within absorbing energy from a vascular system has also shown to be popular. Energy harvesting methods have also been directed towards wireless sensor networks. They have attracted a lot of attention due to their wide deployment in Internet of Things and emerging areas. Novel design and development of efficient and high-performance energy harvesting systems for wireless sensor networks environments are currently still being explored. In conclusion, MEMS energy harvesters prove to be a diverse field with a large potential for more growth in the market. Thank you for watching.